Since antiquity, the Nile Delta has been the breadbasket of Egypt. A third of the country's crops come from this small area where the river meets the Mediterranean. Fertile land, but land that's increasingly suffering from an excess of salt. Why? Over the last hundred years, the Mediterranean has risen by 20 centimetres. It means the sea's salt water is washing over the land, effectively sterilising it. Some farmers have abandoned their holdings, while others are trying to adapt. We buy these sacks of sand, which cost a lot of money, and use them to make a bed on which we can grow crops so we can get by. Life has become very difficult. It's arduous and not guaranteed to work. These fields have to be recovered with sand every 10 years to stay productive. One underwater engineering firm has been examining more lasting solutions. Our plan is to raise the shore by two metres by using a waterproof wall separating the sea from the land. The wall will prevent flooding as well as underground infiltration. But the project was submitted to the authorities in 2007 and still hasn't been green-lighted. The worry is that a seawall would deprive Egypt of its most important beach resorts. Critics also note that it fails to deal with the causes of rising sea levels and say Egypt is suffering from the mistakes of the industrialised West. Egypt is only responsible for 0.6% of global greenhouse gas emissions, yet our country suffers the effects of climate change, effects which are costing us 10% of national revenues. Environmental damage to the Nile Delta is not yet one of Egypt's priorities, but experts say that if the situation continues to go downhill, food shortages could turn more than 7 million people into climate refugees by the end of the century.